Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Yes, I do own another black sweatshirt that maybe you've never seen before. I got white trim on it. I don't know what that is all about. I might have to uh, dye that or something to get rid of it. Well, what's old and fat and lives in his truck and is stuck at certified auto? <coughs> this guy. So I was a good boy today. Uh, answered all my comments. Went and checked on Luciano. Went and got him uh, chicken and rolls. And I was thinking I need a video for tomorrow. So I just started uh, letting the good Lord take me to where, uh, where we were gonna go. I honestly didn't have a place in mind. When I got to the intersection of uh, Market and Highway 35 here in Rockport, my engine light came on a, a warning not even my engine light that's been going on and off for a while um the warning light came on uh power it was the same one when my alternator went and i'm like is my alternator going bad for the third time uh it was it was under warranty um the other times so fortunately uh certified auto was about a mile away so I'm glad I wasn't in Aransas Pass like I was yesterday filming or over in Lamar. I never would have made it here without a tow. And um, as I was driving here, I could feel the power going. And uh, about a quarter mile away, um, another warning light came on, truck overheating. And I was actually smoking when I pulled into Certified's lot. And uh, the mechanic here, John, He's just one of those uh, mechanics that's, he's seen everything. He came walking over calmly and popped my hood and looked to make sure nothing was on fire. And uh, I hear him go, uh, well, you got a hose loose. Oh, and then he, he pulled out my um, uh, a belt, a real long belt. And I said, which belt is that? And he said, uh, the main one. And I said, the serpentine. And you could tell he was impressed that uh, I heard it tapping yesterday and today. And for some reason, I always associate that tapping with the serpentine belt. I don't know why, out of all the things I don't know about vehicles, I seem to know that. And uh, he went in and talked to Bob. I, I didn't even go in the certified, I sat in my car, like in my truck, like, you know what? If I got good news and bad news today, uh, there is no bad news. If something had to go wrong with my truck, it probably couldn't have happened in a better spot. So uh, Bob was calling around for different parts and the, the belt was easy enough to get. It's the, uh, the hose that we need. And I think that's coming from San Antonio to Corpus to here. And that won't be here until tomorrow. So I got about 24 hours plus repairs to kill at Certified Auto, and uh, that's okay. It's uh, it's no worse than sitting in the Walmart parking lot overnight. Fortunately, I downloaded uh, some things to watch. I have uh, my Jackery is almost completely charged, and I have two power packs charged. I've got food that I don't have to cook that I can eat. I've got uh, chicken left that I can cook and um, uh, ground turkey. Uh, I've got fresh vegetables if I want to cook later. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I got a price from Bob. And I know you guys always want to know the prices. Uh, $367 for everything. And uh, while, while he was putting that together and calling around, I'm just I'm just praying, Lord, here's what I got in the bank. Let's keep it affordable, please, if at all possible. And uh, yeah, as, as far as these type of things could go, I mean, I've spent 1200 bucks here before, so uh, 367 is a uh, relief. And uh, put your checkbooks away. I'm okay, I have that, and uh, I appreciate you guys. 
Uh, you guys are awesome. And um, yeah, everything. Where that? Where's that music coming from? Everything gonna be all right this morning. Um, if I have to, I can eat the goat. I'm sure. I'm sure there's a percentage of you that uh, wish I would retire the goat button. And you know what? One day we might retire the goat button for a couple months, and then maybe bring back the dad joke button. And then uh, remember we used to do the drum rolls, all the the uh, I think it's called a rim chat, boom boom, after the joke. So um, I cleaned out the back of the truck already. I was going to the laundromat today, and when I went inside, um, I don't go in, I don't go indoors much. I I honestly don't know when the last time I was inside of anything in the last month. I'm probably wrong, but. It's been over a month since I went inside Walmart. And uh, yeah, I, I, I was sitting there and I'm like, I, I didn't get washed up or anything today. I was gonna go do laundry, clean clothes, go to Goose Island, get washed up. And I was inside and I went, I stink. I smell like a dude that lives in his truck. And I try to get washed up and clean clothes every morning and this morning I didn't knowing I was gonna to go to the laundromat because I, I didn't have any uh, clean uh, shorts or pants other than, uh, I, I have a pair of dress shorts and I have a pair of blue jeans uh, that are clean right now, but I, uh, I came out here and uh, th they know that um, I, I could go stay with someone and I'm honestly more comfortable just being in my truck uh, I'm, I'm going to have power. I'm going to have entertainment. And, uh, yeah, I have my emergency uh, bathroom set up, ready to go just in case nature calls overnight. But um, I feel a lot better. As soon as he told me the price, I felt better. And I'm not going to be stuck here all week. And uh, all day... I could go, you know, bug Mark, and I'm sure it's he would pick me up and drop me off and all that. But I'm just I'm more comfortable just being here. I, I, I like I'd like to go over one night and hang out with Mark. Uh, Mark usually gets us a movie and uh, bakes chicken, or Mark just makes mean fresh popcorn. I don't know what he does with the butter and the salt, but it's uh, it's really good. I've got. Um, I've got chips and queso. I can uh, heat it up on my stove if I want to. But I think what I'm going to do is just not eat. So I won't have to use a bathroom. I'm going to use the Luciano Renaissance Man method. If you guys saw the video where it's uh, me talking to Luciano and then our friend Wayne stops by for a few minutes. Wayne calls Luciano a Renaissance Man. And I had to look up Renaissance Man because I did not uh, apply that term as far as Luciano goes. Renaissance Man and Luciano weren't on my... But it is. It's someone who has special skills and adapts to the situation they're in. He, he is a Renaissance Man. So um, I don't know what they went through back in the Renaissance. I can only think of the art that went on back in the Renaissance. And which Renaissance are we talking? Are we talking about the French Renaissance, the Greek Renaissance? Um, there's always something going on in history, right? So I'm going to keep myself entertained. We're supposed to actually get some rain in uh, about 10 minutes. Uh, just off and on and then high winds. That's what we've been having. So... Uh, it would be worse if this happened in the summer and I was here and I didn't have access to just turning the truck on for power to uh, charge my things and getting some cool air every once in a while. It's not going to be that hot tonight. It's not going to be that cold. And uh, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be comfortable. I also want to put out prayers for uh, my friend Joe's dog, Lucy. Uh, when I was dog sitting, Joe took Lucy with her on her trip, 
and Lucy's having some issues right now. So uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know Lucy that much, but I know she's a dog, so therefore she's a good girl. Yes, she is. Um, I'm going to be killing time here at the uh, Certified Auto, Rockport, Texas. If I'm still in the afternoon, the 1 o'clock video, I'll probably be uh, sitting somewhere outside talking to you. But um, I just want to let you guys know what's going on. I am completely fine. And uh, I got a little drama in my life. You know how I feel about that. But... Um, drama gets views i can put a catchy headline that uh my uh, uh clickbait titled you know uh truck broken down stuck in the middle of nowhere and then everyone's like oh good if i uh the the title is beautiful sunshine sunset uh doing good for others 500 views um i'm dying from cancer 5,000 views i don't, I don't want 5,000 views i don't want to die from cancer but um, I'm still working on my respiratory issues. And uh, I, I, I wish I could fix those for $367. But I am totally fine. I'm in my home. Uh, we're just not going very far. Thanks for sitting with me under the live oaks along beautiful Highway 35. What has no problems in life and tries to make the most of every day and two thumbs this guy and his goat thanks for watching